So good day everyone. No, I welcome you back no, from your academic break. No, I hope you have enjoyed the one week na free from requirements, free from synchronous activities, and free from any school requirements. Okay, so we will continue our discussion no, dito sa ating marketing. No, starting with, uh, continuing with, I mean, with pricing strategy. Ayan, so let us define what is pricing first. No, is a critical ingredient in the marketing mix that differentiates the brand. In some cases, it is the major factor that determines the brand image. So price always con uh, price will also uh, always connect with the brand image. Sabi nga nila, if it is cheaper, it would be more acceptable as compared to uh, it would more. Uh, I mean, it would be more acceptable for the uh, consumers no, to buy the product. Siyempre, we can also agree no, na if you want to buy something, ang lagi nating unang tinitingnan is the price. Ayan. So, the amount of money being asked or given from, for something. And this something is a good no, which we are trying to offer to our target market. Usually, the lower the price, diba? the higher acceptance of the customer to buy our product. So, example dito, the lesser, ayan, anong sinisingil ng lesser is of course the rent. Schools, anong sinisingil ng schools? The tuition. Employees, anong binibigyan natin sa employees? The wages. For banks is the interest. For professionals, such as lawyers, doctors, and accountants, we are giving professional fee. And fixers, we have the consultant fee. All of these are prices. Ang kagandahan pa ng prices is among the four P's of marketing, only the price will bring in money for the business. The other three, yung product, promotion, and place, naglalabas yan ng pera. Ang papasok lang is the price. So we will be using different pricing strategies no, to our product para naman kumita yung ating business. So a pricing strategy can be defined as a recent choice from set of alternative prices that will be acceptable on the part of the consumers. Ayan. So what will be the functions of price? Ayan, it makes the product affordable to the target market. It reflects the value of the product, which I am sure you can agree. Usually, di ba... If the product has high value, it would be matched with a higher price. Ayan. And it is a major tool for business model innovation. No, pricing kasi will also dictate our uh, business model. Ayan. So what are now the different strategies we can use no, with regards to pricing? Yeah. Uh, these strategies no, will fit now with the goals of the uh, entrepreneur on how he or she will sell the product to the target market. Again, the goal natin is for our product to be acceptable no, to our target market and it always start with the price. So, here are some strategies that I will be discussing for today. Ayan, napakadami. I will discuss them one by one pero I'm sure after this topic, no, you will have a good idea no, what strategies I can use as an entrepreneur. Again, you will choose nito. Hindi naman pwede natin apply lahat to ito. You will choose a strategy that will be fit, syempre, to your uh, business. Starting with market scheming. Ano ba ang sinabi sa market scheming? For market scheming, we can now set a high price by having a low volume of our product. Kaya nga tinawag siya na scheme kasi you are scheming the profit. Even if uh, your product is have a ano lang naman low production cost but since it's a limited item konti lang siya sa market we can set a high price na? these are suitable for products with short life cycle an example nito is gadgets or phone or let's use yung iPhone na example ang iPhone it does not take that much no, to produce hindi siya ganun kagastos yet the price is very high Kasi Apple can now skim the market. Kaya nga every year, di ba, naglalabas si Apple ng new iPhones. Kasi ni-skim niya yung market without really any changing anything dun sa phone. Pinalitan lang yung number. No? Ayan, 12, 13, 14. Ayan. But in the mentality of the ano, consumers, sa tingin nila, this is a limited item only. Kasi magpapalit na naman next year. That's why they are buying it at the higher price na sinet ni Apple. So Apple is performing now market scheming. Another example could be when it comes to our commodities is yung nakaraan natin na uh, commodity na napakamahal which is yung pork. Di ba? Ang pork kasi commodity ang supply niya because of the ASF. Ayan. So, 
yung nagpo-produce ng pork or nagsisell ng pork, they are now setting a high price of this product because of limit ng volume niya. Konti lang. That is also another example of market scheming. It's a pricing strategy. What else? Another strategy. I think I have examples dito pala sa market scheming. Ayan yung phones. Ayan. Kawawa naman to. Ito, uh, na, nilagay ko lang dito nakakatawa kasi kasi this person is the very first uh, consumer who have bought yung iPhone 6 years ago. Pero sa sobrang excited niya na laglag niya yung phone na sira. <laughs> ayan o. No. Alright. Anyway, Ayan, another type of pricing we can use no, in our business is called the value pricing. Now, we will base no, our pricing, syempre dun sa consumer per, uh, perception of the value of our product. Usually, we can use this strategy if we have a high brand equity. Or meron na tayong na-establish na pangalan sa market. Oops, wait lang. Let me just check my... Okay. Alright, so, price set by the company as perceived value. Ang example nito, yan, mamahaling sasakyan, a Ferrari, as compared to a regular na sasakyan, yung mga Toyota or Mitsubishi. Bakit ang Ferrari, millions of dollars? Yan, kasi that is the perception of the customer na if I buy this product, it would be of higher value. When in reality, what we are trying to buy is the name. Kasi nga, Ferrari has a high brand equity. Another example, itong uh, bag na to. Let's say Chanel. Ayan, Chanel na bag. Okay. When we try to compare to other types of bag, let's say Jansport, Chanel. Diba, they have the same use. Diba, to carry things. Para pwede nating paglagyan ng kung ano-ano. Yet, itong bag na to has a higher price. Bakit? Dahil the brand equity of Chanel is higher as compared dun sa Jansport. So, people will are willing to buy this product at that price kasi because of the high brand equity. Yun yung value perception na. And that is value pricing. Okay? Another strategy is the loss leader pricing. No? Goods deliberately sold below cost to encourage sales elsewhere. Okay? So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng loss leader pricing? Now, this is very applicable rin for perishable products. At nakikita natin to sa supermarket. Okay? We can see in the supermarket yung very discounted na price. Or meron na yung buy one, take one. Or yung meron pa ako nakita nun, buy one, take five. Na delata nun. Okay? Now, what could be the reason? Uh, these businesses sell this product bago siya, uh, bago ma-hit yung expiration date. Okay? Dahil, once this product expires, hindi mo na mabibenta yan. So, it's better that as a business, you sell this at a lower cost kasi meron ka pang kita. As compared, pag bulok na siya, hindi mo na siya mabibenta. And that is loss leader pricing. Ayan, no? Purchases from all other items more than covers loss on the item. So, it's better to sell it on a low profit than having no profit at all. Okay? Uh, this can also be applied sa mga obsolete na gadgets natin. No? Napapalsin nyo to sa mga telco natin, yung mga plans. Alright? So, itong mga phones na to, mga obsolete phones, hindi mo na mabibenta yan. So, ang ginagawa ng mga plans, uh, mga telcos na to is, ini-integrate nila sa plan nila. Okay? Parang, apply for a 5499 na plan and we will give you a free phone. No? When in reality, wala naman na talagang value itong mga phone na to. Dinidispose na lang nila. Okay? Parang pina-integrate nila sa marketing so that you will apply for a loan. That is a loss leader pricing. Okay, I think this would be one of your favorite no, na pricing strategies. Yung tinatawag natin na psychological pricing. Okay? We are now using this strategy to play on the consumer's perception. We are playing with the minds of our consumers. For example... Punta kay grocery, lahat na lang is may 99. 99.99, 19.99, 999.99. That is psychological pricing. Kasi on the minds of the consumer, they are thinking that they are saving money. Na pag nakita nila yung 99 na yan. It's highly psychological. Tayo rin, di ba? Wow, nakatipid tayo ng 1 centavo. When in reality, hindi naman yan binabalik ng mga producers, tama ba? Ng mga sellers. 
psychological. It's highly psychological. Okay? Ayan, no? Ito mga phone deals na to, 99, No? Number 9 is psychological. Sabi nga nila. Alright. So, our next pricing strategy naman is the going rate pricing. So, ano nga ba ang growing rate pricing? In case of price leader, rivals have difficulty in competing on price too high and they lose the market share. So, tendency is they would now copy the price of their competitors or the leader on the industry. So, I will go straight sa example, sa so going rate. Ito ang pinakamaganda example. 99 mils, pinauso ni Mang Inasal. So, Mang Inasal has introduced yung Anli Rice for 99 pesos. Eh, this is years ago. Ngayon kasi mahal na diba ang Anli Rice nila. But during that time, na nag-99 si Mang Inasal, and Mang Inasal is the leading pa no, na fast food kasi of the value of their food. Eventually, other companies followed. No? So, Jollibee has offered also a meal for 99 pesos. McDonald's, meron na rin silang 99 meal. And KFC has their 99 meal. So, if you notice, they are just following the leader. Ang leader natin in this example is Mang Inasal. Going rate pricing. Another example would be yung ating mga karinderiya. Diba? Nung wala pang pandemic, syempre, meron silang mga student price. Student price, 60 pesos. Karinderiya, 1. Pinalo na rin ni Karinderiya, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6. Lahat na is 60 pesos student price. Okay? Ayan. Another type of strategy we can use is the tender pricing. No? Many contracts awarded on a tender basis. And when we say tender, there is a back and forth negotiation no? until the seller and the buyer will agree on a price. Tagalog term is the tawad system. Diba? I'm sure kayo, magaling siguro kayo magtawad, no? especially pag nag-ukay-ukay kayo. Diba? Tawad, nakita ko ng blouse, nakapost doon 50 pesos. Ate, pwedeng 40 na lang. Tapos sasabihin ni ate, ay hindi, 45, baka gusto mo. Tapos once you have agreed on the price, yun yung ibabayad mo. That is tender pricing. Okay? Of course, this is mostly done in secret. Siyempre, the agreed price is should be between you and the, uh, with, between the buyer and the seller only. Kasi once na-announce mo na 45 lang, bili ko dito. Siyempre, yung iba gusto rin nila na 45 na rin ang binili nila. So, this price would be unique no, depending on the uh, negotiation between the buyer and the seller. Alright, what else? We have the price discrimination pricing. Yeah. Charging a different price for the same goods and services in different markets. Ayan. The seller charges each customer the maximum price that he is willing to pay. An example here is yeah, McDonald's is an international company. Meaning we have other uh, we have branches no, from all around the world. So if you notice here, a same product have different prices in different locations. Ito, yung burger, fries, coke meal nila. In the Philippines, that would only cost around 136 pesos. This is an old price. Di ko na sure kung magkano yung price ngayon. 136 pesos. But in other countries, it will go up around 6.95 Dollars. If you will convert it in the Philippine peso, I think this is around 350 pesos. Yeah. Estimate ko lang yun. 350 pesos, 136 for the same product. This is now discrimination pricing. Bakit mas mahal sa US? Because they can afford no, this price. Bakit mas mura sa Pilipinas? Because of our income level, which is lower as compared to United States, Ito lang ang price na nating afford. This is now discrimination pricing. Okay? Ayan. What else? We have penetration parking. Ah, parking. Pricing, I mean. A price set to penetrate the market. Okay? The strategy here is when we are introducing a product in the market, we usually put a discount agad. No? Bakit kaya? Dahil we want the consumers to try our product Yung sinabi ko kanina, di ba? Price really affects yung buying decision. So, the lower the price, of course, mas gusto yung bilihin ng consumers natin. Okay. Uh, cost plus pricing naman, traditionally, ito yung ginagamit lang natin, no? Yung less specially for food products. Ang ginagawa natin is we just put yung markup dun sa cost of product. So, ito. Cost plus pricing, also known as the markup pricing, 
where cost of the product, of producing the product, plus the markup that we want to put on that product, and that is already the selling price. Okay? Contribution pricing, I will skip this because this is part of your accounting already. So, we did discuss nyo and dyan. Target pricing, also part of your accounting. Okay. Ayan. Absorption. By the way, don't worry. Ito kasi, uh, in our examination, I will not be including this. No? Kasi I'm sure we discussed nyo ito sa accounting. Yung cost plus, contribution, target pricing, marginal cost, ayan, and absorption cost. Okay. So, let's go straight dito sa destroyer pricing. Deliberate price cutting or offer free gifts of product. Ang purpose nito is to force our competitors to run out of business. No? To the point na they cannot compete, they will have to close their business. Ang problema in the Philippines, this is not allowed. No? This is anti-competitive and illegal kasi we have, the anti, uh, we have the competitive law act in the Philippines which means that any act of, ano, for example, ito, applying yung destroyer pricing or other term is predatory pricing, pwede pong ireklamo kasi that will not be helpful to competition. Ayan. And that is the end 